say for a second you want to drop a figure around 1000 US dollars for one of those super thin touchscreen laptops. Before you make a decision, I would have to recommend that you at least consider the HP Spectre 13T3000. Under the hood, the 4th gen Core i5 processor and 8GB of RAM make a noticeable difference, at least for what I do. I purchased this computer to use for college. Most of my usage on the computer was for making PowerPoints, word processing, and using social media. For those purposes, it did the job perfectly. This computer fits the bill for what the average computer user needs. If you want to use it to surf the web or check email, this won't disappoint. For good reason. You're paying over 999 bucks for it. And for that kind of price, there are certain things that you can really appreciate, such as a USB 3.0 port on each side of the computer, as well as a gorgeous QHD display that's great for watching movies. SD cards fit flush into the built-in reader, unlike my MacBook Pro, and the backlit keyboard allows me to study in the dark. However, the best feature is the lightning fast 9 second boot time. But wait, before we get too excited, I have a few very minor gripes with it. For example, the shell of the laptop attracts a substantial amount of fingerprints, and the speakers are on the bottom, so the noise is easily muffled. Nevertheless, the quality of the Beats audio speakers makes it bearable. Oh, and for the past few years, I've been spoiled with what I consider to be one of the greatest innovations in the history of technology, the MagSafe power port. Unfortunately, because of US patent number 73111526, this Ultrabook can't utilize that technology. If you think about it, our people have been to the moon and back, yet the days of tripping over charging cables are still not over. One of the most unique features of this computer is the XXL trackpad, which HP has dubbed the Control Zone. It's just a normal trackpad with some extra bars on the side that provide extra features. However, in real life usage, I found that the extra bars weren't necessary, and therefore rarely used. Other things I didn't really care for were the webcam and microphone. Because even though the webcam is supposed to be shooting at a resolution of 1080p, I'm convinced that it dates back to the Reagan administration. Just look at this madness. Oh, but the keyboard is great. It's a standard keyboard that feels good to type on with the perfect amount of throw to each key. You may be wondering why I keep on talking about the hardware, neglecting the software, but the truth is, it's just Windows 8.1. There's nothing really different about the UI other than a few things HP threw in, such as Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 and McPhee Security. So now it's time for me to wrap up this video and give you the bottom line. It's a great laptop. It's worth the money you pay for it, and aside from the few complaints I had about it, I'd have to give it 4 stars. The only reason I don't give it 5 is because it's not a game changer. There's nothing radical about this computer. From 29 inches, this has been Kevin reviewing the HP Spectre 13T 3000. A link to where you can purchase the laptop will be down in the description. Oh, and before you leave, leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this computer. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.